Chrome OS 98 just rolled out and is available. And just like it always is, it's chock full of all kinds of new little goodies. Some of those are just hidden right underneath the surface. A few are hidden behind flags, but we wanna take a few minutes and give you five cool new things you need to be trying on Chrome OS 98 right now. As we always say, some of these things are experimental and they're behind flags or they're new features. So your mileage may vary with how well they work for you and whether you wanna leave these things in place. Most of the stuff that we're gonna talk about today actually works really, really well. But the first one that we're actually gonna talk about today is a new unlock screen. So it's the smart unlock that works with your phone. When it's working, it works way better and just kind of looks cooler in general than the old school version of the smart unlock that just hasn't worked that well for years. But uh, the emphasis has to be on when it's working because we've had some issues with it working and then not working and then working again. So again, we're gonna start with this one and show it to you. And just like every one of these other features, if it's a flag related thing, you gotta go to your flags, you gotta turn those flags on. And sometimes they're just gonna act a little bit wonky, but let's get into it. Okay, like we said, we are going to start with the new Smart Unlock. And if you've used Smart Unlock, honestly, if you've paired your phone with your Chromebook, you've seen it at some point. It, it, it is the ability to basically log into your Chromebook from here by just unlocking your phone. So you see a new kind of icon here. If you have a Chromebook with a fingerprint scanner, it'll actually slide this over and have the fingerprint uh, unlock there as well. But all you have to do, just like normal, is unlock your phone. And now we get another new animation instead of like, it used to tell you to click your profile and it was super weird uh, and it didn't work very often. And again, like I said, this new version isn't working uh, perfectly well at this point. It was working way better on the Chromebook that I was testing this on earlier today. Uh, but you know, it's a feature flag. There's probably some uh, stuff they got to get lined up and make it work. But ultimately it's a better looking, hopefully going to be a better functioning version of the smart unlock. And honestly, if it works each time the way it's supposed to, it's actually a really nice feature for devices that don't have a fingerprint scanner on them. Okay, so we wanted to get that first one out of the way because it can be a little cantankerous. And hopefully again, once it gets rolling and, and actually rolls out as a proper feature, uh, that is something that will work right out of the box without any problems. But we now wanna talk about the actual flags you're gonna to need to turn on for all of this stuff to work. So just like always, go to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And then in here, you're gonna see all the stuff that we have enabled and basically give you an overview of the stuff we're gonna talk about. So uh, drag window to new desk. We have multiple new virtual desk uh, stuff that uh, is is really cool all works really really well so these are these are flags i would say you should enable immediately but uh we will have all of these linked in the description uh the actual names of the flags it'll be in the post as well um, how you can go turn those on but i'm just going to read them off really quickly so it's drag window to new desk uh, actually we can zoom these in too so you can see them a little better uh, productivity experiment monthly calendar view i've got that one turned on but we've decided to hold off on that one because it's it's been really unstable uh, and i i just think you'd be better off not messing with that one right now disable virtual keyboard is just there so that the virtual keyboard doesn't come up on this touchscreen device so we have the app launcher productivity experiment app launcher animation we talked about those in a previous video uh, but they are part of a new thing that is working now which is the ability to reorder your apps. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Um, then we have the Smart Lock UI revamp is the name of the one that we just showed you. Uh, we've got trackpad swiping to switch desk. Again, this is going to be in the trackpad uh, part of the video. Uh, enable copy to clipboard in the Chrome OS share sheet and then desk templates. So uh, let's actually start with desk templates. Okay, so desk templates are a part of all these new little features that are in virtual desk. And so if you don't know virtual desk, three fingers swipe up or hit the overview key on your keyboard and you can create workspaces basically. So one of the new features that's there that's in one of those flags is the ability to drag a window to create a new desk. So if you've got something on your desktop and you're ready to throw it into another desk but you've got your desks full and you don't know where to put it and you don't want to have to go swipe up and create a desk and then put it there, you can now just swipe up into overview and just drag this over into the new desk. It'll automatically create a desk, let you name that desk, whatever you want to call it and you're ready to go. Now, once you're in that desk, say you decide to put this window, I'm just literally gonna throw some random stuff in here and then just kind of arrange it in a particular way. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't wanna go full screen with that, sorry. 
So we'll squish this down a little bit and then move this one, I don't know, over here. There we go. So that's the template I want, say, this is the thing I want on this desk. So with that template flag, you can actually go over here now, save it as a template. It's going to name it the name of the desk. Uh, eventually they're going to have a, an ability to rename these here. Uh, right now, I think if I hit the space bar, it won't work anymore. So we're going to do test. Yeah, as soon as I hit a space bar, it goes out of this. Uh, but whatever you've named the desk will actually work this way. So say I delete this template here, I delete that one. And if I name this test, you'll see that when I create the template, the template gets named whatever you've named the desk and now it's saved as a template. So say I go in here and close all this stuff out. I'm coming in for the morning and I'm ready to start. And I know that, that the next desk I want is going to be that template that I just created. I can hit templates and all my saved templates are here. I click use template. It opens up a new desk and puts all those windows exactly where I left them. So now you can go and lay out all your virtual desks. And when you walk away from your Chromebook, when you come back, even if you're starting from a, a cold boot, you can put all of those desks right back where you had them. The desks will be named just like I named it test. Everything's named the way it should be. Everything's laid right back out where it was. This is a really, really sweet feature. And then once you have those desks set up, there is a new way that you can get between those desks. So, uh, you probably already know if you hit the search key and then a bracket left or right, you can one desk at a time quickly move through those as fast as you want, which is really nice. Uh, but now there's a way to go directly to the desk. So this is the fifth desk, for instance. I can go over here to desk one. I can hit shift and search and then just hit the number five and go right to desk five. Uh, you're going to get a little toast down here telling you there's some new shortcut keys. I'm telling you what the new shortcut key is. So shift, search, and then any number one through eight will take you directly to those desks. So there's desk one, and then boom, right over to desk five. And while we're talking about, you know, gestures and things to get between your desks, one of the flags that we talked about was this enhanced gesture navigation. Um, from what I can tell, it's not actually changing anything about the way you move. So a four finger swipe on a trackpad is going to move you through those desks. But flicking that is actually working again uh, a little better it feels like so i'm just kind of flicking my hand onto the trackpad like this and going desk to desk or longer swipes and moving through them this isn't new uh, this has been a thing on uh, chromebooks for a little while but it feels like uh, this time around like whatever they've tweaked it's doing a better job of telling between whether I'm just kind of flicking to one desk or another or trying to do a longer swipe without having to like work so hard to get it to understand that I'm trying to move to another desk. It honestly has been a little janky since they added this long swipe feature in and I've kind of stopped using the four finger gesture because of it. Uh, but I feel like with this new change, this is way more responsive and hopefully I can kind of go back to using the four finger gesture now to move between desks. The next feature we're going to talk about isn't necessarily new to Chrome OS 98. It's just new to me, and it happens that I found it running Chrome OS 98. Um, I'm not sure when it actually rolled out. We tracked it as a new thing that was coming and then kind of lost sight of it and forgot about it. And I've noticed it, and I think it's something you should be using uh, in Chrome OS 98 or whatever other version you've got that, that has it. But it's your site settings, and it's one of those things you don't think about all the time. Uh, but it's really handy to be able to quickly access certain things. So in something like Google Calendar, for instance, you know, there's notifications that come up. There's all sorts of other things that, that a site like this is going to ask of your browser. Well, up here, used to you click it and all you had was like your connection, your cookies, and you opened site settings in another tab, which that's still there. But some of the quick settings now are starting to move to this to this other thing here. So pop-ups, redirects, notifications are in this little toggleable section. And it's really handy to be able to just quickly click that and turn off notifications for this site without having to go to another tab and go through another bunch of steps. So even if I go over to our website, for instance, and go to um, a page that's got a video on it. So I'm gonna start up some sound. I'm gonna mute that real quick. But now that this is playing, this is a mutable tab. You see the, the icon up there at the top telling me that there's some music going on here. If I click in here, there's now a toggle for sound. And it quickly adjusts. As soon as I stop this video, uh, the sound is still on. But if I reload this page, before this has been loaded, I've not actually hit play here. When I click this, 
there's no toggle for sound until I begin this video and this embed actually starts playing some sound. So as soon as I click that, boom, we've got the sound toggle and I can quickly mute. Uh, I can block pop-ups and redirects right here. Um, so it's really handy to be able to get to those kind of site settings really quickly right there in the Omnibar. The next feature we're gonna talk about is also up here in the Omnibar. So say you're watching this awesome video or reading this great post on Chrome Unboxed and you want to share it pretty quickly. Well, normally you'd have to highlight all the text, control C to copy, and then go find somewhere to share it. Well, now in the share sheet, the thing that we talked about in the last video about Chrome OS 97, you just click that share button up there, and now there is a nice copy button where it should be and probably should have been all along. You click that, you have the URL copied, and just so I can show you, we'll paste it right there. The URL has been copied, pasted, and is able to be quickly shared from the URL bar. And finally, with the new productivity launcher, which has been working perfectly for me uh, since Chrome OS 97. So those flags we talked about there, all those flags we talked about at the beginning of this video are the same ones that we had in Chrome OS 97, except one extra flag. So you have this nice animation where this thing kind of pops up into view and it's really nice looking. Uh, it's a much better launcher, I think, for desktop versus the whole thing taking up the screen, which is a little bit obnoxious, honestly. But now we can reorder apps. And this is something people have been clamoring for for Chromebooks for years at this point. Well, now it's here and it's part of those flags I showed you at the beginning. Just right click anywhere here in the tray and you can see reorder by name, alphabetical or reverse alphabetical. And then oddly enough, uh, order by color. And it does exactly what you would think. So now my reddish icons are there. The blue ones kind of get grouped together. Uh, not really sure how much you would use this. I don't think it does that. No, it does not do that in the folders. So the folders always go to the top either way. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know about reordering by color, but I really like alphabetical reordering. So my folders again are alphabetically ordered up at the top. And then after that, all of the freestanding apps are in alphabetical order down here. It's super helpful. It really helps bring some cohesiveness to the launcher. And I really like this feature. And though I've only been using it for about a day, it's been really stable, works. So this is one for sure I would turn on. But that's about it. Those are the cool features that we've found so far in Chrome OS 98. Remember, we get updates every four weeks. So in four weeks, we'll probably be back to do this again. And it's really cool to see that even with a quick update cycle, we used to be at six weeks, we're at four weeks now, we're still getting just loads and loads of new little beneficial features in Chrome OS. And I like this pace of innovation here where we're getting these little things kind of taken care of, these little creature comforts taken care of with each uh, progressive update. And I, I'm looking very forward to seeing what Chrome OS 99 and Chrome OS 100 have as they roll out in the coming weeks. But that is it for this one. If you like this video, guys, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button and be sure and click the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.